Hello Herr Bauken and welcome to this video. So in this video we will check the cause and the remedy for the DaVinci Resolve error message GPU out of memory right after the intro. So today's metal song of the day is Megadeth with a classic called Tornado of Souls and feel free to recommend me some songs in the comment section. And uh, I also got the clickable table of content in the uh, description section. So if you want to step ahead, etc., if I'm talking too much, feel free to do so. So um, to my background, I've got a degree in computer engineering and this error message, GPU out of memory or memory is full, uh, is very annoying. Uh, it's popping up uh, mostly uh, uh, when exporting or trying to export files. And um, I was always asking myself, um, because these memory full error messages, if you ever have used a computer programming language like C or C++, where you can do all this pointer work with memory, uh, it sounds very familiar. And um, I want to make sure uh, that there's a difference between symptoms and the cause. So uh, to give you an example, if you got a bacteria-based infection and you've got a very clogged nose with slime, etc., and you're using a nasal spray to free your nose, uh, that's a symptom. So the cause is bacteria where you uh, would need some antibiotics against. So I just want to make sure that there are differences because um, I was testing DaVinci Resolve, uh, the six with uh, 6K footage, the sample footage, like this dancing girl, and I uh, had the symptoms of the uh, GPU memory full error message when um, switching on um, the uh, render cache uh, or when applying uh, denoise or the uh, some contrast, high contrast filters. And it was even so intense that sometimes I couldn't even load or start the project and immediately uh, the, the message was popping up. And um, then I had an own project uh, with what, which was 4K only and it was right after I bought the 6K Pro camera and um, I did some slow motion and the clip was only two minutes long, just one minute 45. And uh, I did this uh, slow motion uh, estimate and the motion estimation of the slow-mo with is called uh, speed warp. It's very uh, intense concerning the CPU usage or GPU usage and I couldn't export it. I couldn't even export it when exporting 4K to HD, which was very annoying because I bought this camera um, to, to earn money with actually, uh, not just as a toy. And um, these were all symptoms. These were not the causes. And uh, that was when I decided to do um, uh, to contact B, uh, Blackmagic support, actually. So I uh, sent them a message and they sent, uh, answered me, uh, asking me to um, send them some log files that I create or had to create right after the um, a message popped up and also my um, system setup. So I'm using a Windows 10 system uh, with an i5 Intel processor and the GPU is a pretty old 1060 NVIDIA. And um, the funny thing was the answer I got was pretty boring because they just told me, oh, looks like a driver issue, please reinstall the driver. And um, to give you some historical background of my system. So the computer is about two and a half years old. I was using it for, or I am using it for uh, photo retouching most of the time. And I started using uh, it for DaVinci Resolve uh, about nine months ago. And uh, in that time I installed plenty of updates of the NVIDIA driver. And I just this January learned that there are two versions. So there's a game ready uh, version, which is not as stable, but uh, they want to make sure that when a game update is coming out that the, tri uh, the driver is really working well with the new game version, like there's a new Fortnite version with some uh, special effects, something, so they change the driver uh, for the GPU so that um, the game is working flawlessly. And then there's the studio version. The studio version is like for people like us, um, working with video encoding, so we want a stable system. We are earning or making our living from that um, and I changed to the studio driver in January but um, the reinstallation didn't work 
um, because uh, you really had to also uh, remove the old driver completely, which was the thing uh, Blackmagic support suggested. So there is a software called DDU, uh, link is in the description, um, which I use with these settings I'm just showing you. And um, you have to start Windows in safe mode, you have to detach all internet, so if it's wireless, switch off your wireless LAN, uh, which is I think standard in safe mode. Um, if you are on, on, la on, on cable, just uh, unplug the cable. Then delete the NVIDIA driver completely, reboot and then afterwards uh, uh, install the new driver which you have to download before you do the, uh, the removal. And um, make sure that you get the correct NVIDIA driver because there are some notebook versions out there also, so I'm not sure if you can install them. Um, but just make sure that you get the correct ones. And then um, when you're uninstalling uh, the drivers. Also make sure you get your pre you do your precautions like doing a backup of your files etc etc so I'm, no warranties from my side that it's working out without any issues but it should because these uh, the DDU software is also cleaning your registry so it's removing the driver completely. So and um, after I installed it um, I got back to this uh, 1 minute 45 seconds clip with the speed warp uh, motion estimation and I started um, exporting it and these were very 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 tough 40 minutes for me so um, but it worked no issue no GPU memory full message nothing so it worked out so it was a very very boring standard driver issue where you had to apply the very boring old-fashioned reinstall and reboot method every computer engineer knows on this earth okay guys so um, i hope this will also work out for you and um, please make sure that um, in the future if you've got issues like this make sure that you find the difference between the issue oh sorry not the issue the symptoms and the cause and that you make sure that you find the cause and um, if you got the paid version, I'm really thankful to the Blackmagic support that you worked this out. And maybe my video also gets some load uh, of them, because I think I'm not the only one, uh, one with this issue in the world. Okay, so um, that's it, guys, for this time. So if you liked, please subscribe to the channel and uh, give me a like, a thumbs up. And always remember to listen to more heavy metal. See you. Bye.